Hi guys, we're back in the greenhouse here and we're going to do part two of what I call working with wire. Uh, in the first part, we saw how we could take a length of, of wire, wire that's uh, on a coil uh, like you would buy in a hardware store and straighten it out so that it's really nice and straight and it's also stronger by using a, a method that we stretch it with a drill. Uh, in this segment we're going to look at the the different types of wire gauges of wire really and uh, I'm going to start with with that first so uh, the heaviest gauge that that I have right here is is this uh, th this is uh, an, an old double wire hanger that I have and I think uh, that that is probably a gauge uh, it's very heavy that I've had it for ages and it it, it lasts it, it these things will last a lifetime and uh, then here is, is a single hanging wire I think this is 10 gauge also very strong and sturdy and then next to it here this is, this is a 12 gauge wire that we straightened out and I cut it in, into lengths. Uh, and I will get close here and you can see that uh, this wire here is just a little bit heavier than that, okay? And then the next gauge going down would be uh, 14 gauge. And that is, uh, that's this, this coil of wire here. Whoops, drop something. Uh, and uh, if, if you uh, look at it closely you'll see that it is just a hair smaller okay from the 14 gauge here is a 16 gauge wire and this wire I, I bought this at, at Michael's craft shop and if you have a, a craft shop with, with a floral section you might be able to find this. It's made by Ashland. There's probably other manufacturers also, but this is 16 gauge, 18 inches in length, and you get 12 of them for $2, which is not a bad deal, especially for what we use it for. And uh, this is not terribly strong, but it's useful for hanging, for supporting a, a flower stem. Uh, and, uh, it's especially useful for when you are doing things, preparing for a, an exhibit uh, or display in an orchid show because the, the color of this, uh, the green color, uh, hides it. It blends right in with, with the foliage and uh, the pseudobulbs and stems of the orchids. Okay, anything uh, thinner than 12 or 16 gauge, is really not too much use for us because it just doesn't have the strength that's needed. Okay, I'm going to move this back here a little bit. And this piece right here of green wire, uh, I'll put it up here, you can see I have bent that into a loop for supporting a flower stem. Very easy thing, you just bend, bend this in, in 180 degree curve and then do a sharp bend here and it, it, it does a pretty good job uh, other other ways you could do this is without making this you could just use uh, one of those little uh, spring clips to uh, clip the the flower spike onto this and then you could just use a straight piece of wire with it uh, I had a piece of here somewhere but it got moved around. Uh, anyway, the next thing I want to show you, and, and this is a little bit more difficult to make, that's a pot clip for a clay pot, okay? And the reason it's for a clay pot is because of, of how open this is. If, if this were closed in so that this was touching, it would be for a plastic pot because the walls of the plastic pot are thin and you have to, provide uh, pressure on both sides of the pot which means that these have to meet 
so that you, you have a lot of tension on it to keep it in place and, and hold the uh, rhizome down. This is usually done when you uh, transplant an orchid or you know divide or repot it in some way. Uh, the next thing is the single wire hanger. Now these are, are pretty difficult to make. What I have done here is I used this as a model and made this one. And when you make these, it's best if you start from this end here and then just work your, your way around. Uh, it's really not easy to do. It requires a lot of practice. I, I was kind of lucky that this guy uh, uh, came out so nicely. They don't always do that even for me. I recommend really that you go to Hauserman's uh, or else Robert's Flower Supply is another place that carries both the single wire and the double hanging wire, which is what this is. Uh, this is a 24 inch. You can also get them in 18 inch. I think it's about two, two and a quarter for a 12 inch and three dollars for uh, a 24 inch or two and a quarter for an 18 inch and, and uh, three dollars for a 24 inch. And for me, it's well worth it because the, like I said, these things are not the easiest things to make and the, they will last a lifetime. Usually there is a very heavy galvanized uh, coating on, on these things and they very, very seldom rust out or wear out. Uh, very good stuff. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this and can get some use out of it. Uh, this is Wade from Wade's Orchids. Hi, right, have a good one guys. Bye bye.